Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a journal flip through for journal number 27, which is this one right here. So let's just get right into it. This is a journal that I won from a giveaway from Philo Facts. Um, it is like a spiral bound journal and this was the first spiral bound notebook that I've ever used as a journal. So it's very interesting. Um, it's super cute. It has like these white and gold polka dots um, and this gold elastic band. And yeah, if you want to see the setup or any of my other flip throughs, definitely check out the links that I will provide for you guys down below okay let's just get right into it um the interesting thing about this file notebook was that you could rip out the pages it was kind of like a happy planner disc thing that it reminded me of um so that was kind of cool i talk about this a little bit more which video did i talk about it in i think my mid-year journaling tag so if you want to hear some other thoughts I had about this notebook, also go check out that video. Um, I really enjoyed it overall. I like how it got nice and chunky. The paper quality was really great. It was really smooth. Um, I didn't mind that the lines were blue and not black like my journals normally have. Um, and yeah, just enjoyed it overall. Um, the coil was a little bit small, so like as you can see, it got bulky, but it was kind of like crowding here. I don't know if you can tell, but anyway. Okay, let's go into the flip through before you guys get bored. Um, here on this side, I put in this cute little card that my friend Rachel made me. It fit in this journal, so I decided to stick it in. Um, this was super cute, and the face on this um, piece of toast reminded me of the faces on these little plant stickers from Daily Mini Diary, so I thought it would be perfect all together. Here's my cover page. I used some stickers to decorate. These dot stickers are from Pals Art Nook. You can use my code VAL10 to save. Um, and this packaging or this cardstock right here is from Pals Art Nook packaging as well. Um, you guys know I love to recycle things. So yeah, super cute. Love how this all came together. I started this journal on June 24th, 2022. Um, and again, this is my 27th journal. Here I just stuck in a cute little summary journaling card from Once More With Love. It says light up your life and I thought that was so adorable so of course I had to stick it in. This washi tape right here actually came in the giveaway prize with this journal so it kind of matches. Here was the first daily spread I made. Um, this was for a Friday. I love this washi so much. I've used it in basically all my journals and I think it's just so pretty. We have another daily spread here. I was just using some of these stickers um, from Sheen, I believe, and this was a Saturday. I just decorated the corners and then put another sticker on the opposite corner. I really like how, I don't know, I just like how it turned out. And then, oh, here I have a spread for the book, The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams, or Mick Adams, I'm not really sure. Um, I actually totally forgot to do a bookish spread for this in my 26th journal, so I thought I would just pop it into my 27th. It says, your soul is my favorite in this entire world. Um, and I love how the colors came together. These stickers are from Pals Art Nook. Moving on, we have another daily spread. I was just using up this washi that I got from a pen pal. Um, and yeah, so I decorated the top and bottom. Um, also, You'll see post-its throughout the video. Those are just covering some private journaling. Um, here, this gorgeous, um, this washi is gorgeous, is what I meant to say, gosh. Um, I love it, I love the colors, um, and I love how I hand-lettered it down the side. I just think it's really pretty. Um, so this was for Monday, June 27th. I went out for dim sum with my friends, so I just tipped in the um, business card right here, and I thought it was really cute. Like, awesome. look at how gorgeous this washi is. Is it not so stunning? Anyway, um, moving on. Okay, here we have a spread for the TV show, The Summer I Turned Pretty. Um, I did a spread for all three of the books when I reread them, and then I watched the TV show, which was amazing. And of course, I had to do a spread. It says, whatever happens next, I will always come back to this. Oh, I accidentally wrote this twice, but come back to this place and these people, which love that. Um, these stickers are from my shop, Parchment and Pens, which is no longer open, unfortunately. But these other stickers, the florals, are so gorgeous and they are from Hedgehog's Den. So I will leave the link to Hannah's shop down below if you're interested. Here, I was just trying to pull in some red into this journal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and so I stuck in this washi and I wrote about my day... Yep, so there's three pages. I guess I forgot to put in the day here and I had already written, so it just was what it was. And then here I did a spread because I read the graphic novel, Heartstopper. Um, so I made this cute little spread, used some dot stickers from Pals Arnook, and it says, my life is way better because I met you. Here we have another daily spread. I was just using up these stickers from a leftover planner kit that I had. Um, so I'll show you the art because you can't really see um but here's the girl super cute um and then i just wrote wednesday down the side tried to incorporate all the colors of the stickers and i think it turned out really cute here's the other sticker and i just think it's a very interesting combination 
Now here, I took my first COVID test because I was hanging out with my friends and the next day my friend tested positive and she was like, you guys better take tests. So this was the first time I had actually ever done a COVID test. I hadn't been exposed prior to this. So I wrote first COVID test, OMG, and then I glued in a bunch of like the pieces. Um, this first one, I tested negative, but just wait guys, just wait. Um, here I did a spread for the book, If You Were, nope, If You Were Mine by melanie harlow um it says it was acceptance it was trust it was love which i think is super cute i just decorated with some little brown stickers um and some paper butterflies which i thought were super cute and i also used some paper scraps to decorate this is kind of how i do the spreads where i don't have like aesthetic photos or fan art to use to make the spreads and yeah here I hit 1,100 subscribers, which is crazy. Recently, as I'm filming this, I just hit 1,200, which is amazing. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. It seriously means a lot to me. Um, so I made this cute little spread right here. I just cut out these numbers out of cardstock, covered them in washi tape, and then wrote out subscribers in like matching colors. Whoops. Okay. Moving on, um, I have a spread here for the book Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. It says, I am different from what my world demands I be and I'm not worse for it, which love that. Um, these stickers right here I got from a giveaway prize, but I thought the purple and the red match so well. Um, and yeah, I will leave all the links to the artists for the fan art down below. Here, um, I had used up a bunch of Paper Shire, what's it called? Um, sticker sheets. So I decided to make a spread as I always do, where I just kind of put all the sheets here to see what I've used up. Um, there was like a larger sheet here that I wanted to stick in and then two of the newer pink header sheets. And then I just used a bunch of the little Facebook doodles to decorate since I found Paper Shower on Facebook. Here um, was just a cute little spread for Thursday, June 30th. Um, I used this cute little washi from the Coffee Monsters Co. I got a sample of it. And I think it was this was the last of it, so really sad about that, but I love how the spread turned out. I think the lettering is super cute. And yeah, just wrote in point form about my day. Moving on, um, here I was just tracking my expenses for the month of June, and I remember I had done a lot of shopping that month, so there was quite a list here, but I just used this cute little Once More With Love journaling card to um, cover up my expenses. Um, and then I use this washi down the side that I thought matched pretty well. I will leave my referral link for Once More Love down below if you're interested. Here was my cover page for July. I really like how it turned out as well. I used some art um, from a pink planner shop kit, which you guys know I love for both my planner and my journal. These stickers right here are from Henshaw's Den and the tiny dot stickers are from Pals Arnook. And I think they just match super well and it's super cute. Also made it real for this. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I would love that. It is Letters to Valerie and always linked down below. Ooh, this spread is super pretty. This was for the book Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Um, I read this and I enjoyed it. Um, so here's the spread. I think the colors are really pretty. Um, these little houses are from Pineberry Paper, who I will link down below as well. And it says, even when we were young, I knew you and I were meant for each other. The halves, oh, sorry, two halves of a whole. <clears throat> excuse me moving on we have this cute little spread for a friday i hand lettered it with my colored tombow duo nope tombow fudinosuke um that i got from a set from my friend a while ago and then i used this cute little orange tape down all four sides and i thought that looked really cute here's the other side and then I tested positive. I was testing, testing, and the first two I took turned out negative. I didn't take one the next day, and then the day after that, I tested positive, which was honestly crazy because I had gone two years without catching COVID, and then here we were. So, of course, I had to make a spread about it. I just used some washi, some little health-related stuff. Sorry about that, guys. I just had an alarm that went off, but um, here was my spread for when I tested positive. Like I said, I used a bunch of cute little health-related stickers that I had for in my planner sticker book, and since I didn't get to use those a lot, I just kind of stuck them all in here, and I thought it turned out really cute for such an unfortunate situation, um, but they're stickers from like the Coffee Monsters Co., the Prairie Planner, um, Once More With Love. Yeah, I think that's it, but um, yeah, at least the spread is cute. So here is the beginning of my COVID um journey so um this first day i used these cute little paper shower bunnies to decorate um these were printables from her facebook group and i thought this was kind of perfect because these are the colors of the covid test and i didn't even realize that until i actually made the spread but this was saturday july 2nd here was covid day two um i had originally planned on writing three pages but i ended up not doing that so i kind of just did a collage right here with a bunch of random black and white stickers just to match the theme and i think it turned out really cute i always love doing like a little sticker bomb like this i think it's super fun um and yeah so i was just writing about my day this coffee is from the wow the coffee monsters co super cute i will leave the link to helen shop down below if you're interested 
Um, I did recently also get some new washi, which is fun. Um, and then here was another COVID day. Um, oh, did I actually write on? No, I wrote on some clear sticker paper. I thought I wrote directly on the washi tape, but I wrote on some clear sticker paper, cut it out, and then stuck it on. But anyway, um, I love how I did the lettering on top of the washi, though, even though it's not directly on it, if that made any sense at all. Moving on. Um, here, I just made or I just stuck in this little card from Paper Shower that says no coffee, no wakey, because that was super accurate for me. Um, I thought it was just like kind of appropriate because I was getting like breakfast and dinner and lunch delivered to my room, even though I wasn't drinking coffee at the time because I like make it a certain way and I'm picky, whatever. Um, but I thought it just kind of made sense. Anyway, this was me. Here I read the book American Worlds and had to make a spread on it. It says she was living history and history went on forever. I used some cute little washi stickers and then some cute little blue celestial theme stickers. I thought it turned out really cute. Love the colors. And yeah, moving on. Here was another daily spread where I just used these coffee related stickers down the side. I think it turned out really cute. I got some happy mail from a lovely um, girl in the Coffee Monsters Co. Facebook group. Her name is Melissa um, and she sent me some washi samples which was really kind of her. This is the washi she used, she used to decorate her packaging and here was her little card um, and yeah love that. Here um, I read the book Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. Honestly I was kind of disappointed by this book. I don't know everyone was loving it and I just wasn't feeling it but anyway um, I had to make a spread either way and I love how it turned out. Of course these printed photos are just from Google. Um, these Pantone stickers are from Honey Studios and the florals are from Hedgehog's Den. I also cut up a little butterfly sticker that I had because <clears throat> the main character Christian calls the girl butterfly, which to be honest, I thought was kind of weird, but anyway, um, of course I had to include some butterflies. Here was another daily spread. I was just using up some little butterfly stickers, how appropriate. Um, so I just decorated it with some teals and blues. Then because it was July, I figured I would do um, Christmas in July. So here we are. I used this cute washi from the Coffee Monsters Co. Who else? Um, it's so adorable. I love the foil and I love like this one is probably my favorite. The little emoji wearing a reindeer onesie. So freaking cute. I love it. Um, and since I don't like to repeat washies, the only time I ever get to use this washi is in my December daily. So I figured why not just use it one more time in my um, July journal. Oops, don't know where this was supposed to be. But yeah, um, here I did a spread for the book Below Zero by Allie Hazelwood. It was just a cute little novella and it says serendipity has safely landed on the surface of Mars, which only makes sense if you've read the book. Um, of course, I included some like space little post-its here along with some little um, pink stickers, which I thought was super cute. And then I did another spread for the book Stuck With You by Ali Hizzlewood. Again, another novella in her series. It says nothing like a little rival rivalry between scientists to take love to the next level, which I thought was cute. These stickers right here are from Pineberry Paper. Moving on, this was Friday day seven of my quarantine. Um, I decorated using these cute little memos that were yellow and gray. So of course I did some gray washi on the sides and I used these cute little emoji or emoji stickers um, since I just thought they were cute. So yeah, here was another day. This was the day I finally left my room because I tested negative again, um, finally, after a few days of testing positive still. So of course I had to decorate with a super cute little cheerleading um, bunny. I just thought that made a lot of sense um, and she's so freaking cute. So here are the two pages. Then, oh, I guess something was supposed to be covered here. Well. That's okay. Moving on, I hit 1,150 subscribers. So if you didn't know, I do these pages for every 50 subscriber milestone, which was so amazing. Um, of course, I did the same thing where I just covered some, <clears throat> excuse me, cardstock letters in washi and I thought it turned out really cute and I just wrote out the word subscribers. Moving on. Oh, this spread is super fun. Um, I love how I did the colorful lettering up here, but I had this really old sheet of stickers and I really wanted to use them. And so I just put the girls at the bottom with like the little music notes and the boom box and the headphones and the records or the CDs. So cute. Um, it honestly did not give me enough space to journal, but I just kind of squished everything in together. Here was a spread that I did for the book Majesty, which is book two in the American Royal series. It says the future belonged to their entire generation of people who are all dreaming and fighting to make their world a better place. I love the colors of this spread um, and I love these gorgeous florals from Hedgehog's Den and these dot stickers of course from Pals Arnook. So cute. Love how it turned out. Here I got some Happy Mail from the Pretty Pink Co and I just wanted to glue in all the cute little elements. So here we are. This journaling card is so cute. It says, reminder, love the skin you're in. And actually, I did do a daily journal with me vlog for the next like few pages. So if you're interested, go check that out on my channel. 
Here was just a really simple spread. Um, this was Monday, July 11th, and I just used some Precious and Snow Washi to decorate. Here was Tuesday. Um, I used some washi stickers that were kind of gray and red to decorate. Super cute. Um, this day I did the rainbow lettering again, which I've been really loving. I think it's so cute, so I definitely want to do that more often. But I used this really fun clear washi. So cute. Love the colors. They're so bright and summery and fun. And then we have another bookish spread for book three in the American Royal series. This was for the book Rivals, and it says, when it's all over and the dust has settled, this country will never be the same again, which I love. These little floral stickers are from Pals Arnook. And yeah, just really love how this turned out. The colors are really fun, and I love kind of like the contrast between the yellowy orange and the purple. Um, and then here we have a cute little daily spread where I was just using up these little cat stickers, and I decorated with some paper scraps. Nothing too special about that. Um, another daily spread, just some washi from Shein. Again, nothing special. Honestly, I feel like my daily spreads get pretty repetitive and boring, but I hope you guys are enjoying it nonetheless. Here I just stuck in another fun journaling card. This was from Papershire, of course, and it just has like the scene of some like journals and candles and coffee and a laptop, which is so me. So I just had to glue it in because I thought it was perfect. And sometimes I just use these journaling cards to fill up space and they're cute so they look like good decor in my journals. So yeah. This spread is really adorable. I love the colors. Um, I use these little memos that I got from a pen pal and decorated with similar colors just in the corners and I love how it turned out. This was for the book From This Moment by Melanie Harlow. Um, right? Yes. And it says, no matter how great the loss, life and love go on, which I love. Um, super cute. And I just decorated it with some stickers. And also, I forgot to mention, but when it comes to spreads like this where I'm hand lettering the quote and just decorating with some paper scraps, I try to theme it after the colors of the book cover. And then I think this is like getting to the end. I just have a really fun spread with some washi that I got from a friend and it says like summer and there's like fruit. So I thought it was perfect. Of course, I did the multicolored lettering again, which you guys know I've been loving. And then here I think was the last day. So I used some paper shower freebies. These are printables from her Facebook group to decorate. Um, and yeah, that was July 18th, which is the day that I finished this journal. Um, I do have a video showing how I finished this journal so definitely go check that out if you're interested um just making sure we're still filming okay good um and so on this last page i just used some pals art nook packaging to decorate once again with some daily mini diary stickers again i finished this on july 18th and i love how the colors came out um and i was glad to finally use up these stickers from that set i had because i've had them forever and they were so cute so i had to use them and yeah love how that turned out just on the back here, I wanted to stick something in to like make use of every single page. And I just stuck in this cute little card from Once More With Love. It says, like the moon, not always full, but always beautiful. So cute. I think it's the doodles, like this girl, adorable. Anyway, in the back, I actually stuck in this envelope to hold a bunch of miscellaneous random things that are like kind of like memories from this time. So I guess we could go through. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing sensitive, which of course there was. Okay, so there was something that I can't show in there, but... Other than that, I have things like this little bookmark that I got for Canada's Day, some like um, samples of scripts that I was making for my shop. Oops. And basically these are things that I just didn't have the time to like glue into my journal. So I, um, or like I didn't know where to glue them in. So I kind of just tucked them in the back for memories. I got some Happy Mail from Papershire. So I cut out that sticker. I bought some clothes from work. So of course I had to keep the tags, um, more samples of my lettering. I got a D-stash order, so um, yeah, I stuck in the little note, and I got an order from a sticker shop, so I stuck in the invoice as well. Hopefully you guys didn't see my address just now. Um, and then we have the COVID test instructions that of course I had to keep. And yeah, so those are just the kinds of things I like to tuck into the pocket in the back. Um, and that is it for this journal flip through. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!